Hey there, it is Simon here. I hope you are well. Today we are going to learn the wonderful tune, Baby, Can I Hold You, by Tracy Chapman, the awesome Tracy Chapman. Um, stay tuned. I'll see you in a sec. All right, now you've just got your guitar. It's in regular tuning. Um, this song is all about not playing the guitar much. All right? So... It's not one of these sorts of things where you're bashing it out. The less you play, the better. All right? Now, we're going to start off, we've got a bunch of pretty straightforward chords, but the way they're put together is really nice. So, we're going to start with the D major. Now, we're going to play on the one and the two. So, we're going to go one and two. And then we go a three, a four. So, there's little semiquavers before the beats each time. So, down, down. Up, off, up, on. Make sense? One and two, up, off, up, on. And then we're going to play an A7. So those two chords were D and D sus2, by the way. One and two. And then you go to an A7 sus4, which is just an A major chord with a sus4 and with a dominant 7. Okay. I know, it sounds complicated. Easy. One and two and three and four and... So what we've got in the intro is one, two, a three, a four. One, two, three, four and one. Okay. Now that kind of simple strumming pattern, um, you can employ that throughout the whole song. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, is hard when you're first learning the guitar is, you know, you kind of go, what's the strumming pattern for this song? Well, I guess at the beginning it's useful to have a pattern that fits over the whole tune because it makes it easy. You just leave your right hand on automatic pilot, right? But, you know, to be honest, there's not a strumming pattern for every single song. Um, you just have to play something that's sympathetic to the whole thing and, little tip, if there are any drums or any percussion on the track, just copy what they're doing on the drum, because what you've really got here is big sort of a note-making drum, right? So, if you, if you sync in with what the drummer is playing or what the percussionist is playing, it'll be fine, okay? So, but in our case, we're going to try and go down, down, up, down, up, down. And then we start the verse, which is exactly the same. The first two bars are exactly the same as the intro. One, two. And then we hit an E minor. Now over that E minor bar, we're going to do exactly the same as we did in the D bar. Down, down, up, down, up, down. And then A7 sus4 to A7. One, two, and three, and four, and... And then back into D. A7 sus4. Now, and then E minor again. Down, down, up, down, up, down. And then we hit a G major. One and two. And then an A major. Okay. So, those first eight bars are D major. One. In fact, let's play together. Right, I'll count us in. One, two, three. And down, down, up, down, up, down, A7. Alright, then there are one and a half bars um, of just sort of filler, I guess. So filler before you get to the chorus or filler before we loop around on the verse. So that is A, one and two and A sus four, three and four and 
time and then it just plays an A and you count for two beats, right? So you get one, two, three, four, one, two. Now the first time we loop back into the verse, D. D major. A7 sus 4 to A. E minor. G. A. A. Sus 4. A. Okay, then we hit the chorus. So we've got chorus D. Same things we had in the intro and the verse. So down. G twice. Now, the next chord is a B minor, which often is, can be a bit scary when you're first starting out on guitar, if that's what you're doing. Um, we're going to play a little bar chord here, though. So, G. It's actually easier doing this than doing the other way, which I'm going to show you in a second. Our first finger is already on the second fret of the a string, which is a B note, right? So what you need to get used to doing is going from G, swiveling, going to B minor. Now, when you first learn this bar chord, you're tempted to kind of, I need to put my finger all the way across here, right? Don't do that. You're much better off getting used to having that as the root, right? Because the root note of B minor is B. I know, newsflash. The root note of G major is... G. The root note of A minor is A. The root note of B flat 13 with a sharp 5 is B flat. Okay, so always just the name of the chord, right? And that's why on a D, you hit that one, A, that's your first note, and so on and so forth. Anyway, B minor, so G. And then if we can switch around, you kind of swivel around on that finger into the B minor. Now, instead of rushing through the, running through the whole song and you know then getting to that bit and stuffing it up, the best way of practicing is literally just to play one, two, change, three, four, one, two, change, three, four, one, two, change, three, four, and speed that up, two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, if you really are struggling with a bar chord, you can play kind of a short version, if you like, of B minor, which was one, two, four, three. That's my fingers, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fourth fret. And of course, you can't hit these guys, right? So if you wanted to, you could play uh, that E minor, 2 and G, B minor. Okay, now in that B minor bar, we can probably do the same thing as we were doing before. Down, down, up, down, up, down. Or down, down, up, down, up, down. Up to you. Tracy's not gonna come around your house and tell you off. You can play whichever one you like. And then, A sus4, one and two A, and then D. Now, in this section, there's a little run over a bar. The chords are basically at E, then to G, and then it resolves back into the verse. The bass player uh, plays some extra notes in the middle, so you can use those notes. So we've got E minor, two F sharp, and then a G and then an A, and then a D, right? So that sounds like that. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, so that one is when the verse starts again. So let's just play that chorus together. One, two, three, four. E 
Mana. Walk. And then A. And then you're back to the verse. That is exactly the same as we did before. And then we hit the final chorus. Now, what happens then, the chorus is basically a six bar round where we get D, E minor, G, D, same thing, E minor, G, B minor, A sus four, A, loop it. how you play all the parts of Baby Can I Hold You by Tracy Chapman. If you would like the chart that I've written up here, just a simple chord chart, please just get in touch at www.simonrail.com forward slash Simon forward slash free hyphen chart. Sorry, I'll put the address in the description. If you're able to support the channel and me, uh, I put uh, a new video out every single week. In fact, two videos on this channel and then also Aussie Guitar Lessons. Uh, so it's three videos a week, plus all the lessons and being a museo in general, it's, uh, it's a pretty busy time. Uh, if you'd like to support me, you can do that at patreon.com forward slash Simon Morell. Um, there you get exclusive lessons, access to a whole bunch of different charts and a whole bunch of other things that I only do there. And uh, if you'd like to just subscribe here, that would be awesome to have you here. And uh, don't forget to tell a guitar playing friend about this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Enjoy playing this tune. <laughs>